Hey, Brad. Okay, so we're getting ready to find out what's going on in this uh, little make-believe world that we've got going on here. And uh, the mysterious NPC has a very uh, recognizable shape here. My goodness, who do we have here then? A little barbarian warrioress. Uh -huh. I sense great anger in you. <laughs> Could it be that the thirst for battle sits in this little chest? Uh -huh. Then let me give you some advice. Swallow it. The most successful battle is the one that doesn't even have to be fought. So be a good little barbarian warrioress and take a nap. Lilligrim could hardly believe her ears. Wasn't this a fantasy role-playing game? What fun was there in imagining aimlessly sitting around a campfire? Lilligrim didn't dream of listening to the soothing advice of the mysterious NPC. If anything, it just made her angrier. Too bad that she had to stop herself from losing control. She would have loved to have screamed this dope's head off. Don't startle me like that. Can't you see I'm watching the kettle? Um. The goblins are keeping quiet. Maybe too quiet. Okay. What could the goblins be planning? Why did they submerge one of the kingdom's greatest memorials underwater? Something similar happened to me once. But that was an accident. But I don't really think that the royal loo can be considered a memorial. <laughs> um. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, mm -hmm. I'm brewing a diabolical magic potion, of course. <laughs> Well, it's actually a calming tea. I really wanted to conjure some coffee demons, but they don't let you get any sleep. And we do need our strength for the battle. Now I have to watch the kettle before it starts to whistle. The traveler has such sensitive ears. Okay. Um, I'll watch the kettle. Want to sleep? Uh-uh. I wonder why. Because I'm really exhausted. Oh, if you're staying up anyway, do you think you could watch the kettle? For sure. Uh-huh. Oh, great. Then I can finally get some sleep. As you know, we need our strength for... Oh, oh, for the... Oh, oh. Okay. All right, there's that one down. The... Hello, Lilligrim. You're still up? You should get some rest. No. I'll keep guard and make sure the fire doesn't go out. <laughs> Don't look so grim. Your thirst for action is honorable, but the mysterious traveler is right. Strength lies in tranquility. Lilligrim felt like screaming at the brave Sir Drogalot. She hadn't traveled all the way to Goblin Gorge just to sleep. But something kept her from losing her temper. Fuming, she turned away from her companion. Her eyes fell on the quiet traveler who had listened to the entire conversation. Was that a smile she saw beneath the hood? Um. Are you worried about the fire? Hmm. Usually, I'd agree with you. Those few logs are certainly not enough to keep the fire burning through the night. Plus, the best things always happen to you when you go into the forest looking for firewood. You find treasure maps, fall into enchanted wells, or meet merchants with magical amulets. You should go Maybe look for some I more. Should. Relax a little and call it a day. That's what you wanted to say, right? Hmm. The Traveler is right. There doesn't always have to be an adventure, and the night is pretty warm. I'll wait up to put the last log on the fire. Then I'll turn in, too. <clears throat> okay. Um. 
Hello, Lily Grimm. Would you like to be amused by my funny pranks? Yes. Then watch me. And are you amused? <laughs> um. Yes. It doesn't just look like it. I am actually juggling only one ball. And I know how ridiculous that must seem. My character sheet said that I... <clears throat> I, the comical snipple, have the marvelous ability to juggle 55 balls at once. Ooh. But as much as I would have liked to imagine what such a thing would look like, the mysterious traveler thought I should just juggle one ball instead. <laughs> because it's much more contemplative. And as long as my shame or boredom doesn't cause me to spontaneously combust, then I'll stick to that. If you have a better suggestion. <laughs> you think I should try it without any balls? Uh -huh. Bravo. You found the only way to increase my boredom even more. <laughs> On the other hand, if I juggle without a ball, I might be able to take a quick nap. That's no one shame. seems to object to sleeping around here. No. Okay. I'll take that. Now. Is there anything else I can take around here? Let's plug that up. Good! The ball was stuck, but the pressure in the cauldron still wasn't enough for something to happen. Okay. Okay. Will no one do anything? So drug a lot. Struggle <laughs> jug. In character, please. Drug. Ugh. Not yet, Lily Grim. The fire should last the whole night. Okay. Go ahead and lie down. I'll make sure that the fire doesn't go out. You should go to sleep. <laughs> Are you as tired as I am? Is he getting sleepier? <laughs> okay. You try putting the logs on the fire. Yes. Roll for sneak and hide so Sadragalot doesn't wake up. Done. The logs were in the fire. The child, what are you doing? What I like. This noise can't possibly be good for the group harmony. Good. Without wanting to rush you. Maybe now is the time for controlled, well-considered action. If you proceed with the required calm, I'm sure you'll be able to defuse the situation before there's a disaster. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. But I'm not I going to. I <laughs> really must insist you stop making that sound. Mm -mm. Can't you see that you're threatening to destroy the idyllic calm? <laughs> that's there's the rest of that they've declared war on us <laughs> sound the horn that looks familiar that sound I have to keep calm good luck uh, enough I can't take it anymore. This noise is driving me crazy. I'm losing <laughs> control. Two arms. Oh. <laughs> Finally, the fun part of the role-playing game began. The group stormed the battlefield with no restraint. They were led by <laughs> Lily Green. Who they are potatoes. Swung her berserker sword in circles, and as the dice rolled in the institution, so did the heads of goblins in Hot Modigor. It seems it is a good idea to occasionally vent your rage. <laughs> it was a short 
battle. The goblins were powerless against the fury unleashed by the group. <laughs> the plans of the Goblin King were thwarted. Nice. Lilligrim found the defeated monarch cowering beneath one of the support beams of the dam. Lily. Poor foolish Lily. That was a terrible mistake. Lilligrim was still wondering what he meant when she heard an ominous crack above her. <coughs> when the pink floods had subsided, our heroes were faced with an incredible sight. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Uh oh. Well, look at that! I have to admit, <gasps> oh. I'm really blown away. We shouldn't be here. Ha! <laughs> You've always been quite the comedian, Snippo. No, I mean it. This valley is cursed. I heard that. Wait a second. Lily? What's wrong with her? Imagine how she felt at that moment. You can't? Oh well. Who knows what really goes on in the mind of a little girl. You feel all right, little girl? <coughs> little girl? Hello? Mm, uh, are you okay? I was worried, you know? Oh. Am I crazy, or did it just get colder in here? Huh. Well, all right. Well, now what? I've got, uh... I just got one more. Can I use this guy? Mm. Maybe I can unlock everything. I know it sends me to that weird desert place. It may be the same one. Oh, okay. Okay. So can I... Yeah. Is there is there anything else I can go? What do I, oh chicken again? What do I need the chicken for? Oh, it's probably still from the feather thing. Lily had probably broken it for good. Okay, I wonder if I can undo this lock. <laughs> what a shame. Oh. Lily just didn't have the skills. What a sh okay. Lily. Hmm. Was there anything else to look at over here? <laughs> the door was firmly locked. Hmm. What, Lily? Huh. Okay. I must be missing something. No? Uh, 
All right. Okay, I was just in there. Do I need to talk to this gal again? I'm knitting for the dark. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm Okay, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. You're certainly a brave warrioress. All of Hoth Motigor is in your debt. Okay, so I guess we're done there. Um, maybe try the roof again. I'm not missing anything here. say anything there. I've already used the moths. <laughs> Maintenance room, the roof. It's the surveillance room. Huh, well, I wonder what there is still left to do. Does she need an extra knitting needle? The narrator was slowly losing interest in coming up the truth. Okay, no need to be grumpy. There's nothing else in there. in here. Done everything in here that I can think of. It's so depressing. I'm supposed to award experience points to improve a talent. Expressive dance, <laughs> making music, lock picking. lock picking. I don't actually want to be able to do any of those things. Isn't there a talent such as accepting one's fate or assigning experience points without experiencing an existential crisis? Peter's dithering made Lily furious. Couldn't the notorious whiner make even the most basic decisions? Lily would have liked to smack him across the face, but something held her back. Oh, okay, so do I need to lose my temper? Is that the thing? All right. <laughs> oh my. Oh. You're right. I'll just increase pick locks. And that's it. There. Why don't you just hold on to the character sheet? Really? I don't want to do with it anymore. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Now, do I have the skills? It sounded crazy, but she now actually had the skill to pick locks. Done. The <laughs> gate was open. She wondered if... This was ridiculous? Yes. Oh, okay. true. She'd opened the real gate during her trance. The mm. path to the asylum's tower was now free. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. Okay. Without really thinking about it, Lily took the stuffed rabbit with her. If she was going to enter Dr. Marcel's realm, she didn't want to do it alone, like she usually did. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, the there's Edna. Firmly locked. Lily was certain this had to be the cell that Edna was being held in. Okay. <laughs> Just take a picture off the wall. Lily could stare at the moon for hours, uh -oh. but she didn't like it. <laughs> Terrible things tended to happen. The door was firmly locked. Everything is firmly locked. The phantom looked depressed, but Lily noticed something else. A key ring. Was that the key to Edna's cell? Uh -huh. Leave me alone. I'm a hopeless case. Father was right. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Reuben, Dr. Marcel's secret second son, Alfred's older brother. Lily didn't know who Alfred was, but she still thought it was appropriate to catch her <laughs> breath in shock. We were supposed to have the perfect upbringing. Pops thought traditional methods were inadequate. That's why he began developing his own, while Alfred responded to his practices. I developed conspicuous behavior. I was a failed experiment. Pops was so disappointed that he kept me in the asylum cellar, hidden from the outside world. Alfred, on the other hand, was presented as a shining example of his parenting methods. I never had a chance to make him proud of me. Since Alfred died, everything just got worse. I'm invisible to him. A ghost, a bad dream. The strange circumstances surrounding Alfred's death showed him that childishness is a disease that needs to be eradicated. I should have died back then. Aww. If I could only see my brother one more time, I never got to say goodbye to him. The clothes rack reminded Lily of the old man from the school. Did that really happen today? Yeah, the Phantom's voice also reminds me of the old man from the school. It wasn't a good place to hang that up. I like it. I get to see his brother's picture that way. Ooh. How awkward. Lily had destroyed the termite farm. That's an elf. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. On top of the clothes rack, the bowling ball looked like a skull, but something was missing. Okay. Take. Ooh, what's this? Somebody had left their lunchbox. That would never happen to Lily. She didn't have a lunchbox. <laughs> I want to get rid of those boards. Can I get rid of the boards? I want to... 
I wonder if I can... <laughs> we know the termites like honey. Noteworthy. The termites scarfed all the pancakes and ate a hole through the door in the process. All right. Shine the light in there. Really understood the principle of locks and keys, even if it sometimes appeared otherwise. Oh, there we go. Can I put that on the? It wasn't a good place to hang that up. Oh, maybe it'll shine through. Hanging up the portrait of the ugly boy there would certainly be spooky, <laughs> but something was missing. Oh, okay. Boop. Lily shuddered. Suddenly there was a ghost in the storeroom. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. <laughs> if anybody's gonna do any haunting here, it's me. Beat it. If you see Alfred... <laughs> Tell him to haunt round this way sometime. All right. I never got to say goodbye to him. Here we go. Try this. What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anyone's gonna be haunting around here, then wait. What? Oh wait. Oh, wait. Alfred, <gasps> it's really you. Oh yeah, for I, real. I can't believe it. Yeah, me oh, neither. Alfred. I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> and I have so much I still want to tell you. Where to begin? Oh, yeah. I know. You lousy, dirty toad. Because of you, I've lived my whole life in a stinking sewer. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> oh, look. The Phantom dropped the keys. Oh, me. Lily. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you. We were so worried that they had gotten you, too. <laughs> the doctor is completely they lost like his they, mind. They're he wants to turn us all into mindless puppets. Just look at what he's done to Mother Superior. Oh, hello, Lily. Nice to see you. Oh. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Did the other students make you do this? They are such naughty children. You, on the other hand, were always so good. So good. I'm sorry that I was always so strict with you. But now, thanks to Dr. Marcel, I'm a good child too. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. This is somehow more. creepier. Let's concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. I was hoping you'd show up here. I can use all the help I can get to speed up production of my hypnosis dolls. Soon, I'll be delivering them across the entire world. And then. Naughty children will become the stuff of fairy tales. Once I've subjected you to my improved hypnotherapy, <laughs> nothing can stop me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. We oh. are good little children. So good. It appeared that Mother Superior was under the influence of Dr. Marcel's hypnosis. That means she wouldn't be much help. Lily caught herself wishing the old, strict Mother Superior was back. All right. Well, Brat, uh, next time we will break out of the cell and see what we can do. <laughs> Such a mess. 
All right. Bye, brat.